Hi and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, C2 at DVS, and I'm joined very kindly by Bruno from Sensomix. Hey, hello, Bruno. Hello, hello, good morning or good afternoon, I never know. You know, time, <laughs> time zone differences and all that. And we're joined by Stewie behind the camera for a change. So thank you, Stewie, for being the nominated cameraman that we forced you to do. So thank you anyway. So we've got a little demonstration as promised in our last video. And this is the, I'm going to say it wrong, but Sokoru, Sokoru. What? You whatever say? you want. You can call it whatever so you want, guys. It's this one here. You make up your own name, but it's that. This is the Outdoor 360 Omni Detector. Now, obviously, if you've seen any of the weather in Wales today, doing this outside would be absolutely ridiculous because it's raining. We fitted it as high as we can in the demo room. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera shoot. That's perfect. Generally, this would be a sort of a five meter height. And what this is really used for, like on the spec sheet we've got here, is gun shot detection, shock waves, crashes, any any uh, threat linked to a massive release and short release of energy, you know. So as you said, you know, gunshot on explosions. Yeah. But that's not the most common on this side of the ocean. Correct. You know, so uh, car accidents, vandalism, uh, any kind of shock like window breakages, you know. So we're very effective in the smart city, but as well in uh, large open spaces, you know, like car parks. Uh, venues, public spaces, gardens, you know, yeah, this kind yeah. of thing. A whole host of applications that Bruno just rattled off there. And you can always invent your own. This is such a cool product that is not limited only by your imagination, as we said in the video yesterday. So, being an omni-detectable device, so 360 degrees, we've got a little demonstration up here. So you can see the four microphone pickup devices underneath. It is mounted. Like it is mounted that way. Don't mount it that way because you're going to have a very uh, uh, device that doesn't do anything like we found out previously. So it's mounted that way. Um, Bruno can go into the scientifics of why, uh, probably for a different video. And we can talk deep about the AI side of it. And we'll save that one for a, a much more in-depth look at how the technology and AI works inside the devices. But very simple demonstration. So Bruno's got his clock. So we were doing a DBS countdown. So you can see there, just numbered face there the idea being is with the clapper board that bruno's got to demonstrate so a simple clapper what this doesn't do guys is this needs like the shockwave doesn't it so one thing to use in like a phone to replicate this noise and again we did this a long long time ago to try and replicate using noise from a pc now that doesn't give the shockwave that this needs for the clock to detect it's really important that when an event happens like a car accident a crime gunshot, it produces a shockwave, which this device detects, analyzes, and then gives the appropriate output. Being a 360 device, you've got omni-awareness, which is fantastic in that public open space. Bruno's just resetting his clock while I talk. Yeah. But the other good thing about this is this then can be linked to a camera, so like a Hypervision PTZ or you know other brands or a VMS in place. We can output it to drive the PTZ to look at that area. So an Omni detector, PTZ can be looking completely the other way. We drive it to that area of detection to give you instant live verification of what that incident is and then you can act accordingly so it really is cutting edge technology that works for you not against you so with your lovely clapper in hand yes I'm we're going to demonstrate that so now we've obviously come right over to the clock face on the pc so bruno is going to clap his clapper and you should see the arrow of this detection software represent a zone on the unit there we go Sound was detected, the needle moved, which gives a representation of the zone that was triggered. And then if the sound was to move, we'll see if Bruno wants to move into a different zone. Should. There we go, and you can see the detection moved. So in less than 500 milliseconds, you know, the shockwave has been picked up by the acoustic antenna, which is there, alerted the artificial intelligence and the artificial intelligence uh, looked inside its model, you know, and knew that it was something worth yeah. looking at. So it turns the PTZ in the right direction, you know. So again, outdoors, this has a much, uh, much, much better application. You would never really install it in an indoor application like this, but it's a very graphical representation of how the technology can work for you and many applications and then how you can drive that into your technology chain and integrate it into any system whether that's cctv vms alarm whatever that looks like it has a very integratable solution 
Again, I wanted Bruno to use the big clapper, but uh, you know, he wanted to use outside. his little clapper. So this big clapper is the outdoor one apparently, so not to use the big clapper. Um, but again, really simple demonstration and one of the many videos that we're going to publish on this super cool technology. Make sure you keep watching our channel. Thanks to Bruno for joining us. Thank as you, always. Dave. And Thank you, Mr. Stewie, for being the cameraman. You're welcome. There you go. Thank you, Shui. Uh, see you next week for another video.